What is going on guys? Wise here coming to you with the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. This was our season two week one CWL matchup against uh, Beast Mode. Uh, one of those freaking awesome German clans. Uh, we knew we were going to be in for a tough, tough matchup, but uh, we put up a pretty good score and we put up a really good effort, although heartbreaking loss for us. 111-110 was the final. We did have a, just a few dip fails. We couldn't quite get it done uh, on the 10v10 level. We did have one 10, 10v10 trip by our man Jacob, but unfortunately uh, it was not enough and uh, our game sort of there didn't quite match up to beast mode. Uh, you know, we were winning for the majority of the war. Um, Sort of the, obviously the time zone difference, so Beast Mode always had attacks behind us, um, and we were always ahead, always ahead, and then sort of the gap started closing. Um, end of the war, they went two perfect uh, two dips um, that were very that were successful, that were both zero star uh, Town Hall tens for us. So that got them six stars, put them up for one oh five to one eleven, um, and then we still had four hits to go at that point. I believe three Town Hall 11s and uh, a Town Hall 10, uh, but we had everything two-starred. Uh, actually, if we take a look right here, we had all the 11s two-starred, no problem. Um, we had uh, basically everything else was two-starred all the way down. So for us to uh, tie, we needed to go perfect on our 11s, and to win, we needed the 10 to come through. Um, or potentially we don't know quite know what the full sway in um, percentage would have been if we were successful, but look like beast mode would have had us on percentage. But anyhow, crazy end of the war, beast mode hats off. Uh, congratulations going up on one to know um, start the season. And unfortunately for us, that means we fall on one, but uh, we shall bounce back for next week. Um, I'm just going to jump right into these replays here now. Uh, got a handful of the town hall nines I want to show you. And then I'm just going to finish things off with that 10. We're going to start way down here. Oh, hang on. Before we do that, we got to do Aziz. The last time you had a soul. Jesus. Now we're ready to watch some replays. So I'm going to start on, on 37 I got here. The late. Oh, yeah. This is sort of like a, I, I like how he brought the four balloons here. You can tell it was very precise with all of uh, his hogs and balloons. He had pretty much specific purposes uh, for all of the cleanup. He knew exactly how his troops were going to go through the base here. So brings the heavy wizards. I do want to make sure one thing right now. Because I did this whole thing and that was unplugged. Okay, good. <laughs> We're good to go. <laughs> I've done that before. I got through a whole recap and you look down in the headset or something's unplugged and you're like, oh man. Anyways, so uh, nice job here by Lay. Brings this uh, stoned entry. Three golems are in. Clan Castle gets uh, yanked out. He only has 12 hogs and four balloons, but what he recognizes with this double jump, he's basically going to get all the air defenses. Uh, he, he probably could have, I think, with the kill squad still, uh, but he ends up sending his hogs in from this uh, direction just to make sure it goes down, balloons in from the other side, and sort of just pincers this base while he sends the bowlers now and uh, the queen and king up the core. So then come these hogs, like I mentioned, just a few on each defense can take care of that bomb tower. They end up making their way over. See, yeah, the uh, Archer Queen actually ended up taking care of that air defense. Anyways, hogs pit her out at this Tesla farm, but no big deal. Queen's going to step up. King is in there still. Bowlers are in there. He's got four balloons coasting on over, just slowly taking them time after they are uh, two for two on these archer towers. And as you can see, it is inevitable. Down goes that Tesla, and it's cleanup time for Lay. Nice job, buddy. Boom. Right, moving on up, Derp Adu. This guy is always rock solid for us. Love, love Derp. He's so, so positive and just one of those guys. He doesn't, like, I mean, he, I don't want to say this. I want to say this right. He doesn't chat a ton like he does, but, like, not, like, excessively. He's not, like, a, a always chatting kind of guy. But all of a sudden, sometimes Derp will come out with these, like, little motivational kind of, moments and they're so awesome for the clan i just wanted to say that derp uh but i just see clan castle's getting yanked towards this kill squad here but no big deal poison goes down queen is right on that 
Witch gets the poison, so she's going to go down no problem. Queen's taking care of that baby drag. King does take quite a bit of damage uh, leading up to this point, but really his job's going to be done as soon as this defensive queen goes down, and down she goes. Taking a couple Teslas and the Expo along the way. Wizard's moving up there with the Golems as well. Really good value on that kill squad. And really just has this now 12 to 3 o'clock section he's got to take care of with the Hogs. And three heals. No problem whatsoever. What I wanted to point out too is a couple of these attacks. Really see these guys opting for the Max Hogs in the CC. See them running around with their awesome little red hammers. That's awesome. <laughs> this is fucking sweet. I don't know. Um... Uh, but, uh, like, so he ends up, I think, with, like, 32 hogs. And he started with his 25 of zone and 7 in the clan castle. And they're just ripping through this base. He has two heals at this point. Probably could have got away with, uh, you know, taking that bomb, da bomb tower damage to the face. Could have swagged two heals here. No problem, derp. Absolutely crushed this base. And another one like that to show you, you know, guys are really opting for these cold-blooded or these shattered go hose now um you know a lot of guys um forget and it's not that you forget but the, the way that the newer base designs are um bombs are not a, like a huge huge threat to hogs anymore so when you have those super compact uh compartments and you can sort of tell where a good chunk of the spring traps are um or just bring 32 of them <laughs> with a few yields a lot of times it's going to come away with the three star there so nice job derp uh, let's move on up. I got number 25 next. My man King. Bringing one of my all-time favorite attacks, a standard double jump Govaho. And he doesn't need, he brings uh, Valks in the CC with one bowler. So I love it. You're going to actually see the one bowler that comes out of the CC last the entire raid, which is absolutely fantastic. Other than that, good old standard seven Valks. You end up with 16 Hogs. Just uh, this to me was a huge part of my Town Hall 9 game coming up. Um, I always, always, always have loved Valks. And, uh, you know, I was using this attack. So was, um, the first real three-star strat I learned was a Go Valo. Uh, I learned to look for core air defenses back in my old clan, doing a bunch of those farm wars, you know, those uh, bases with all those air defenses in the core, just absolutely wrecked with Goboho. So, um, you know, I started doing that, getting a little confidence and going to Goho, and then this double jump, Goboho. Uh, and it would turn into basically being my favorite attack till sort of the Veeler came around, and obviously now I don't even play Town Online much anymore. So, um, but as you can see, you know, King's ripping through this base, nice little heal, unfortunately, just just out of range of those hogs so he does take that bomb damage but no big deal he's got enough hogs moving in um i believe they pit her out around the tesla uh, but you're going to sort of see he's got the wizard down cleaning up the queen's going to step up and sort of start working around with the wizard from 12 he's got this hero bowler that's been alive the entire time they came out of this clan castle all by his lonesome but he ends up going all the way around <laughs> getting all this cleanup done at the same time golem's in there sort of tanking while he's Valks uh, try and beat through to get this gold storage. Uh, but really, at this point, it's just a matter of time before everything converges on this sort of last Tesla and Archer Tower here. Look at this point that the base might stand a chance, although this Valk getting out in front of the bowler is just clutch. Bowler starts working on that Archer Tower, so down it goes with the bounce. And perfect. Really just got to take care of that Tesla, and it's bound to be a tree for my man King in the bag. Boom. Um, so, number 23, Big D. Uh, here's another attack. So, 26 hogs plus 7 in his clan castle um, with 3 heals in his jump. So, But he goes shattered here. Maybe, uh, I don't remember if he went shattered or, or cold-blooded. I've seen a few of these, right? Um, it, it just kind of depends what you want to get on your entry. A lot of guys will use their king as well to do a lot of the tanking. Um, another little trick, if you if you can get more hogs out of the deal, then awesome. Because at this point, there's only two compartments with that you could potentially have multiple bombs in. Um, you know, the bomb towers were reasonably isolated. Did you get it on entry there? I believe he did. Um, unless I'm blind. Am I blind? No, he got it on entry. <coughs> Queen's going to take a bit of a hike. So he ends up sending in the hogs. Just a few on each defense. Just sort of protect the queen so she can walk around now freely to do all this cleanup. 
uh, and just healed them along the way. You're going to see he just overpowers his base with this critical mass of hogs. Uh, and just healing along the way. There's not a ton of threats as long as he makes sure he get the, gets these heals down. Over these expo chambers, nice little split as well. He gets on the hogs. There are a few just path away and trigger those bombs. So absolutely awesome on that. Getting those wizard towers down. He's got those max hogs in from the CC here now uh, that he sent in at 5 o'clock. Everything's looking good. That last heal is down. Keeping them up. He's got a bazillion hogs. I think he hits a bomb here at the end, but he's just got so many. And there's only that mortar to go. Down it goes. Yeah, hogs take a little damage there. But as you can see, he's got like 20 of them up at this point. Base is done for. Tree in the bag. Nice job, Big D. I think he's a six pack this work. Definitely will give a shout out to the Nines right now. Um, we saw a lot of positives from this loss. Unfortunately, um, our Nines were awesome. They rocked the rocked the boat, and <clears throat> our 10v11 game was great. Uh, didn't really have any issues whatsoever. Um, you know, like I said, we only got the one. Uh, Town Hall 10 for 10, I'm going to show you here, but uh, that's sort of where we're struggling at the moment, right? We're, we're getting close, but we're not quite there. Um, and then I wouldn't say we're not there with our 11 versus 10 bullying because some of our fails uh, don't happen very often. It was, uh, I think a lot of it was nerves. Uh, so tough one for some of the guys uh, going down on their dips, 11 versus 10, because really a cut one, one of those would have given, given the tie. Two of those, um, I think we had... Hate to point this out, guys, but um, you know, Yo Yo missed one, Robaz missed one, Mills missed one, so we did miss three. I guess that's not really that bad, but you know, any of those come through, and the war is completely different. Like, look at this one by Yo Yo, one star, ninety nine percent. We nailed that one right there, and then um, number nine. Did someone else get number nine? Yeah, so Mills ended up cleaning up number nine. Mills could have got one elsewhere, kind of thing. Um, is what it is, right? Uh, really, a lot of nerves going into this war, especially at the end of the war. A lot of respect to the, our Town Hall 11. So just a tough one all around, but we will hopefully clean it up for next week uh, against North Remembers uh, Week 2. Looking forward to that one. I think I got one more that I want to show you. What was I? Before I started rambling. 19, 21. Yeah, it's 21. Good old clutch. <clears throat> bringing this tack, um, walking the I, ideally it, his plan here. You want to get this hound out of the way instantly, which is always a good idea if you're trying to bring uh, a queen and let your queen do damage. Because <clears throat> it really sucks when you go in with the queen and then she gets held up somewhere with that hound. So just get it out of the way nice and quickly. Gets that baby D down. A little bit of funneling work. Finally, the hound bursts. Poison to help out. No big deal. So now the hound's out of the way. He's just going to walk down right into this Tesla farm, get a ton of point defense, walk across, get another air defense, and he's going to sort of send in this uh, naked king to, to tank, wizard to help funnel, make sure that army camp goes down. King's going to walk into this stuff, and he's just going to drop a jump right into these two air defense. Little bit uh, close on the queen there, but no big deal. Gets that rage down. She's going to bust on through that stuff. He's going to get this jump spell down here in one moment. Jump, 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 jump. A little bit late on that jump. There it is. <laughs> King beat on the wall there for a little while, but no big deal. He's going to end up getting both these air defense still. Uh, in come these bowlers now from, uh, I, I was I think he was late on this. I don't know. Or he, he dropped them, I guess, to take care of that builder set first. But was just late, right? Like, I think if he had just instantly, as um, soon as the king was in on these buildings, dropped that jump and dropped those bowlers and had the rage down for the queen, this entry would have been a lot cleaner and all these bowlers would be in this base and all this core would be done. So you'd think at this point, he's in trouble. Well, no, he's not. Gets the rage down, just going to one-shot all these defenses as he just tuffs his way through this uh, uh, sweeper action in the core. Gets the sweepers down, going to continue on. Get a few more balloons in on all the point defense around the outside. Haste her down. He's going to throw everything onto the re last remaining air defense there. Down it goes. A couple Teslas on that back end. Don't stand a chance. He's got so many balloons. Really, um, this is a great base for that, especially if he had got that entry down because the rest of this is just such a linear sort of lalo path with these all these super small um, 
the, you know, all these apartments are all the same size. Um, the pathing sort of going to be predictable. You know, once they get in there, it's just defense to defense to defense to defense. So uh, really good job on that clutch. Just clean up that entry a little bit. And I think uh, you're going to cut like a minute and a half off that time. <laughs> Tree in the bag. All right, so let's check out Jacob's hit here. Going in on 17, Jacob just beasts his queen into this base. He says, you know what? I'm going to take care of all these point defenses. I'm going to take care of this air defense, this expo, all this stuff. I'm just going to take that with my queen. Uh, <laughs> and then maybe I'll get another air defense or something else with my kill squad. But at that point, or with uh, my king and stuff. But at that point, it doesn't matter. See his queen here. Nice little rage. Gets the funnel down. She walks into this nook. Takes care of that uh, wizard tower. All the, the expo and the cannon lock on. Out comes that clan castle. She's going to get a double poison down very quickly here. Raid spell goes down. There goes the poisons. And just so patient. Just so um, trusting of that his queen is going to live through the one balloon drop there. She just stands in on, on through that stuff. Pops the hound. Boom, ba boom. Down go the pups. And already this funnel's made. King goes in, jump spells down right over top of that air defense. Um, when I was looking at this base, actually, I was uh, sort of thinking of something similar, not necessarily walking the queen. I was thinking of just sort of like a suicide, jumping in um, and just getting that zigzag effect right to that uh, Inferno Tower as well. Uh, but as you can see, Jake comes up with a much better just beastly plan. Ends up finally using that queen ability, but it doesn't matter. The value he got off that is absolutely huge. As you can see, Inferno Tower, Air Defenses, everything's down at that 12 o'clock. So he is looking pretty at this point. In go the, in go the loons. He's taking care of the, all the defenses basically now from 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock. He's got a straight path. All his balloons are just going to path all together and basically converge on these expos and then go right on over to this Inferno Tower. They guess what? The Queen's decided she's going to step up and take care of all just at like unbelievable queen charge there jacob gets crazy value still has a freeze for no reason he had the freeze because you know he expected his queen to be dead by this point but she ended up taking care of the inferno so he's got the swag freeze just may as well drop it on the wizard tower at the end there you don't want that clump of balloons taking any damage so down goes the wiz tower and it's a matter of clean it was very close on time for this one but jacob crushes it boom love you jake great hit my man uh so it was a heartbreaker for us we uh we had it in our grasp and unfortunately we let it go we win as a team we lose as a team but uh we're gonna come back next week we got week two um North remembers and tomorrow podcast night good old Monday we got clash with Ash really looking forward to that so we're gonna get together with the boys you know JP and Patino and Dr. D will give a little bit of a uh, 2.0 uh, recap for the week and how it's looking going into week two for CWL uh, and then we're gonna welcome Ash on we got a whole bunch of questions for him so don't miss that guys uh, gonna get this video uploaded hopefully tonight um, beast mode Good luck in the future. Uh, fantastic war. You guys held your own to the end, so way to keep digging. Uh, Till next time, guys, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser to try and help the bag that next tree start to them. I'm out.